Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Nitesh Tiwari Technical Hub. Today we are discuss about the design and control of bi-directional bug boost converter using MATLAB and Simulink. So in the previous video, we are talking about the unidirectional bug boost converter. And in this video, we are talking about the bi-directional bug boost converter. So what is the difference between previous video and this video? In previous video, your power is flow in unidirectional manner. Uh, for example, in one direction to the other, other direction only. But in this uh, video, we are talking about a converter, a bug boost converter in which bidirectional power will allow to flow. So let us see how it will work. So this is the basic circuit diagram of bidirectional bug boost converter. So why we call it the bidirectional bug boost converter? As see in this circuit, if power flow from left to right, then the power, then the voltage will going to be increased. It means this side voltage is less than this side voltage. And if the power flow from right to left, then this circuit work as a bug converter. It means this side voltage is always less than this side voltage. That's why we call it it's as a wide directional bug boost converter. If you see this circuit very closely, then you see that there are a two voltage source, V buck and V boost. But in, in any application, we are not using two voltage source in this converter. Why we are showing two voltage source? Let us see, suppose we are taking an example of DC motor drive. So suppose we have a, this DC motor drive here. Uh, this one is the DC motor drive, suppose. And this motor drive will uh, drive with the help of battery bank. So this is your battery bank, for example. This is your battery bank. So this is positive terminal uh, and this one is the negative terminal. So if this uh, DC motor is work in a motoring mode, so this motor will take power from battery and power flow from battery to this motor. So in this condition, if you are using this converter in middle of this battery bank and DC motor source, then this converter work as a boost mode. For example, suppose this motor rating is approximately, for example, it is 48 volt. And if you are using this battery is, uh, for example, 24 volt, then this converter is allowed to enhance the voltage from 24 volt to 48 volt. And in the second case, suppose uh, if the regenerative braking occur in the motor, so in the case of regenerative braking, the motor is work as a generator and power flow from bat, uh, your motor to battery and battery will going to be charged. So in this condition, this converter is convert 48 volt to 24 volt so that the battery will going to be charged continuously. So in the first case, your uh, battery bank is work, work as a source. It means it will, it will work as a source and your motor is work as a load. It means we are using load here. And in the second case, when motor is act as a source, it means this motor is, if this motor is as, act as a source, then your battery bank is act as a load. So one time one voltage source is going to be applied. So this circuit is work in two modes. So first one is the forward mode or boost mode. So in boost mode, what happened? The most, uh, in the boost mode, the voltage is obtained by V boost equal to V buck divided by one minus D. This is the V buck voltage. And this one is the V boost voltage. So in the boost mode, you see, we just replace our voltage source to the load and we have a uh, source we are, we just apply source in buck side only. And what is the, this is the duty cycle of the converter. So this is your inductor, this is your capacitor. This one, this two is the switch. This is the ideal switch. You can use MOSFET, IGBT, SCR, any switch you can use. So uh, depending on your requirement, this one is your capacitor, your resistance, capacitor, inductor, capacitor, and this one, the load side, we are using resistor uh, as a load. So if you run this circuit, then you understand then the power is flow uh, from left side to right side and the converter is work in a boost mode only. And in the second mode uh, is called the buck mode, backward mode or buck mode. In this mode, this uh, uh, side is your voltage source and this side is your load source and the power is flow from right to left and the converter is work in a buck mode. It means this side voltage is always less than this side voltage. 
and if you want to calculate what is the voltage value of uh, your load source then we you can calculate it by v buck equal to d v boost where this is the duty cycle v boost is the voltage in boost side and v buck is the voltage in your buck side so uh, you see they we can use uh, two switches here s1 and s2 suppose you, you are using mosfet igbt and scr any switches then they have a gate terminal so how this the gate terminal will connect it and how we uh, decide that when your switch s1 is on and when your s2 is, is on for this we need to uh, control devices and we are using simple controller simple uh, pwm controller so let us see this is the our bi bidirectional bug boost converter as we discussed earlier we have two switches as we see earlier s1 and s2 and we have a pwm generator so directly we can uh, connect s1 with our pwm generator and we are using not gate to connect the s2 so what happened it means when s1 is on when our s2 is going to be off and when s2 is going to be off your s1 is going to be on so this is the control block of bidirectional bug boost converter so let's start with the matlab and simulink software so this is your simulink environment and i draw the uh, your uh, bidirectional bug boost converter and uh, i i show all the parameter one by one so you just see this uh, at that time this converter is act as a boost converter why it's act as a boost converter because we are using source here so uh, just i show you what is the voltage value in the source size so for that we have to double click on voltage source uh, this uh, so for this we have to double click on this block and we got 100 volt it means we are applied 100 volt uh, as a source voltage and this is your uh, resistance value and this is 1 ohm uh, this is the capacitor. We we uh, we call it as a practical capacitor. So we are using resistance in parallel. So 100 ohm resistance and 100 e minus 6 your capacitance value. This is your inductor. So this is your inductor value. This is the which is what I am discussed and I am using MOSFET here. So you just see two MOSFET is using here. This is your capacitor, uh, cap uh, practical capacitor having the same value. This is your ideal capacitor and this is your also ideal inductor having the value you just see all the value i'm just double clicking it to show what what is the value i'm taking and this is the resistive value what i'm taking and this is the load value so i will take the 100 ohm load this is the what this is your voltage sensor devices this is your display devices and this is your scope devices so uh, for the triggering this mosfet we are connecting a gate terminal with the help of pwm generator the pulse generator here and we are using not gate to connect s2 right now but we have discussed earlier and this this is the signal generator if you are a beginner and you don't know how to connect this uh, all the simulink block then uh, what you can do you just double you just double click for example you want to uh, find how to got this block so you this is what this is the voltage measurement device so what you can do you just double click anywhere and you just write voltage measurement device so if you write voltage measurement then you got voltage measurement device you can just uh, take it and use accordingly for example you want to rotate then you can use control or any or you can uh, right click and you can rotate this so uh, number of ways you can do of uh, for example you want this uh, uh, by this cell so you can write right cell and you found this block similarly similarly this is what you can ju just double click and write uh, rlc for example rlc and uh, if you take rlc then uh, suppose you can take parallel rlc branch so you just uh, if you use you want r then you just click on r if you want l then you can use l if you want lc then you can just click on lc and you found lc only so depending on your requirement you can choose there if you want rc then you can choose rc from there so depending on your request you can choose any block and you can uh, uh, connect it uh, according to what what i'm uh, showing here if you don't want to connect uh, search like that then you just go on this block you just double uh, you just single click in that and and other uh, uh, window is going to be open and you can search anything here you just search anything voltage source rlc block anything you can search you found for example we are searching rlc 
and you see if i'm searching rlc then number of rlc block I will, there is so so depending on our requirement for example parallel rlc parallel rlc load branch depending on our requirement we can select from there and then we, we generally connect it so okay if once we connect your circuit is going to be completed so what you have to understand in better way that this is your voltage source and we are applying 100 volt and we want to say what happened so from this green button you can run this uh, simulink so after clicking it will going to be compiled it will check if any error is available or not so if there is no any available then it start running and uh, after 100 percent it the run is was going to be completed so you just see we are applying 100 volts so this display will show 100 volt that you are applying 100 volt and your output value is 191 volt approximately 190 volt it means your voltage will going to be boost it means you got 100 volt in uh, you apply 100 volt in input side but your output voltage is going to be 190 voltage it means it will enhance 90 voltage if you are double clicking in this scope block then you clearly show then uh, we got uh, we uh, uh, got a smooth voltage uh, value and uh, settling uh, we have this this is their settling time and after that your voltage profile will going to be smooth what it means it means after some time it will going to be uh, smoother so in, in this case this circuit is work as a uh, your boost converter because 100 volt will going to be amplified in 190 volt uh, okay one more block is there powers ui block so you have to use powers ui block you just double click right here powers ui and uh, you got powers ui block you can select uh, uh, take any block so this is a discrete block so you, you just double click and you convert the parameter from continuous to discrete and okay you start so 5 is 0 0.5 you just can you can change the sampling time also depending on your requirement you can use this so this is the boost converter next we have uh, talking about the buck converter so uh, this block uh, this is the buck converter what is the changes between uh, behind previous and in this that's uh, that uh, in buck converter we are using load in this side and we are using source in this side so what is the uh, source voltage is 100 volt we are applying 100 volt in this side and if you want to see what happened then we just uh, need to uh, click on this green button and the compiling process is over after that the running process will start and after 100 percent the running process will going to be completed so after running process we will see that we got approximately 50 volt it means you are applying 100 volt and you got uh, 50 volt only it means this circuit is work as a buck converter and power is flow from this side to this side and uh, your voltage will going to be reduced from 100 volt to uh, 50 volt and uh, if you want to see what is the uh, voltage profile in the scope block so you have to double click in the scope block and if you see that you got approximately 50 volt in the your load side so all the parameter what i am using in this buck uh, mode and what i am using in boost mode is same as you see all the parameter is same what is the what is the difference the only difference is that that here we are using source and here we are using load in the case of boost mode and here we, we are using load and here we can use the source in the case case of bus, uh, buck mode so this is all about the bidirectional buck boost converter this is the very important converter for uh, uh, for your DC DC converter and for your application uh, purpose if you are using DC DC converter. So thank you. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, seeing my video. Thank you all. Thank you.